Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel. Peter likes books. The camera is wobbling, do you see it? Yes. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm in my car and I'm in Phoenix, Arizona and I finally met Mel. Oh my God, I love her so much. I finally met, this is like an awkward situation. <laughs> I finally <laughs> met Mel, um, my club, my my club partner, club. my club, club partner, partner, my book club partner, and my husband arranged this trip for me, which was so nice of him. I want to thank uh, Alex, my husband. Thanks, Alex. So we have been hanging out in Arizona. Um, I rented a little Airbnb, did the tour on uh, the vlog. You can go over there and check it out. Uh, little, I would say it's, it's bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So anyway, Mel and I have been hanging out. We went to dinner last night with her husband, and Alex's friend is out here too um, for a wedding. So the four of us went out to dinner, and then Mel and I went back to the house and we talked true crime. We talked about our podcast, talked about all kinds of stuff, and I am trying to do a bunch of like videos and reviews out here of places that I've never been to before, like for my review channel. But I had said I wanted to go to some bookstores. So she said there's a bookstore and it is called Bookman's. This guy is like literally right here looking at me. <laughs> I was like, I'm trying, I said like roll your window up so nobody hears, hears us. But anyway, um, so I wanted to do a video of like a bookstore that I had never been to out here before. So I'm doing um, a Bookman's, which can you kind of explain what you would call it? So a Bookman's is, it's used books, it's video games, like there's Nintendo, like old school Nintendo video games we just, we just ate the bombest del taco of life go watch the review channel um <laughs> it's guitars like musical instruments magazines records it's kind of a catch-all of everything kind of entertainment related i think i would say um but it's it's one of my favorite stores and it's it's cheap it's like it's like the goodwill of like bookstores and music it just it's everything and it's wonderful yeah she said they have a, a really huge like book selection so I'm gonna go in here and like I do sometimes when I'm like around Indianapolis or when I'm out of town I'm gonna do a little like video like showing everything so anyway we're gonna also do a video later of just us talking about like how we met and things that you know like anyway we've got and we've been planning books out that we want to read. We've been planning out our Summer of Serial Killers. I had to shut him down a couple times, guys. Yeah. About what? About... They'll, they'll find out. About the Summer of... <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but we've got a lot of excite exciting things. We also have a project that we might be working on that's not the podcast, but we are also working on a true crime podcast. We just want to do it a right way when we both have time. So it's coming, but we don't know when. So patience, we love you guys for being patience, so amazing. Patience is a virtue. Go uh, check out Del Taco. We're gonna go inside right now, and we're gonna go check out this store. So we may buy some things too. And if we do, if we buy some things, then we'll show you at the end. Um, but we're gonna go in here and I'm just gonna take you guys along with me right now. This is so exciting. Oh, do you wanna know what else is exciting? Um, palm trees, hello, palm trees in Arizona. Look at that sky. I know, the sky is beautiful. So it was 85 degrees today, I cannot believe it. Carts for your shopping and trading convenience. So this is maybe kind of like a half price books kind of deal. Like, I don't know how to lock this door on my car still. Can You can sell your stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm gonna show you in just a second. This guy's walking out, I don't wanna. But this is what the sign looks like. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off until I get inside. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you walk in. There's all of these DVDs. I'm gonna, oh my God, look at all of these DVDs. Oh my God, books on. So oh my many. god, look at all these audiobooks. And then all these movies. We might have to buy a movie tonight to watch, like something that. We should watch a scary movie. What is all this? Criteria. These are like old ones, like really. <gasps> Rosemary's Baby. Oh man. This brings back the high school and all of us. Naked Lunch is the weirdest movie in the entire world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, look. One of my favorite CDs of life, The Cure. <gasps> Me too. I love that CD. Do you like it? I had my hair cut like Robert Smith in 10th grade. You still do. Okay, so, <laughs> so this is huge. Let me show you how big this place is. Okay, look at how big this place is. So we're gonna go back and look at the books. Aretha Franklin, love her. Okay. <gasps> the Eurythmics, that was one of my favorite CDs. <gasps> Echo and the Bunny Man. Oh my God, I was just talking about that. Is that echo? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so 
So we're now walking to the books. These are like old books. Like these are like, oh my God. They have like, this, so this is like the mystery section. Here, I'm just gonna show you guys everything that they have and then I will. Um, so these are like all mysteries, but like look, some of these mysteries are like ghost town. Mel, you could spend a thousand dollars in here. They got all the kinds of old movies. Oh, Final Girls by Riley Sager. There's like, so we should like get a picture of us together in front of it. We need a thumbnail. Okay, that's a good thumbnail. <laughs> okay. It works. I oh my God, it. look at this, Pop Rock. It's funny because we were just talking about him last night. Yeah, we were. Aww. I was telling Mel that my mom's gravestone, I put a, um, the lyric, some, um, you may some say I'm a believer no dreamer, or dreamer why can't sorry. I remember what it is you may say I'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one James Patterson oh the look James at all the James Patterson, Patterson books it's like from here pass. On. Pass. pass I tried I tried mama tried oh my god look at the young adult section you guys on the come up by Angie Thomas the hate you give the hand on the wall, I just finished it. Oh my God. These are all new. One of us is lying. There's a bunch, oh look. Rainbow Rowell. There's a bunch of like metaphysical Where's books. Where's the young here? adult books? You know what we should do? So here's the young adult section. Oh my God. They have a really good young adult section. Yeah. Are the others on the other side? Um. Okay, I bought this book for the cover and I never read it. That's cute. I love it. I'm, does anybody know what I'm looking for? Does anybody have an idea of what I'm looking for? I'm I looking mean, there's, for a there's the. <laughs> Mel is trying to be bad. She's trying. Okay, I'm trying to see. M O N A. They don't have my book here. <laughs> well, that just means that. Oh my God. That just means that they're nobody sold returned out. it. That means nobody returned it. Honey, it just means that they're sold out of it. So, <laughs> um, look at Mel shoes. We're trying. There's people walking by. So, when there's people walking by, I'm trying not to show don't them. Don't But they have so many things. You learned that from me. <gasps> look at this. They have like. On their shelves, they have this stuff. Oh, that's such a I sale live. Too. I live. I like this. This is cool. Which one? That? The like Moroccan type. Yeah, it's kind of. Oh my god, there's the five love languages. It's kind of a mix between. There's a, the complete Kama Sutra. Um, family friendly. Family friendly. It's kind of a mix between like a thrust store. I've got like all of these uh, <laughs> things in here. And there's so many people in here right now. Oh my god, here's I don't want to be an empath anymore. Psychic Vampire Codex. The Book of Spell. Oh, the B666. We can read that for our true crime. Oh true, where's the true crime section? Where's the true crime section? I don't know, but let's find it. Okay. There's a, and then this is just kind of a lot of crap. I don't know what all this crap is here. Dust <laughs> dusty crap. <laughs> Stuff down there, dolls. Maybe they're voodoo. Ghost and paranormal. What does that say right there? Something legends? Creatures. Arthurian legends. Mythological creatures. Aww. Oh my god, I used to have this book in high school, Haunted Heartland. That is so crazy. <laughs> there you go. I feel like we're in the right area. I know. I'm gonna see true adventure. What is true adventure? True crime. Look. True adventure. Where is true crime? See that sign that says true crime? Okay. <laughs> no one's like pointing, but I can't like put it up because there's like all these people around. Oh, look at the sign. True crime. Okay, where is it? <gasps> oh my god. This is, we were thinking about reading that, maybe. Mm hmm. There's so, oh my god. It's, is this whole section true crime? Yes. Oh my god. Look at all the true crime they have. Well, maybe this is where we should get our our thumbnail. Okay. 
Okay, I like the other one better. I do too. So anyway. <laughs> oh my god, look at all this. Or like, hi. Your favorite. Do you think that they have, no, I don't need to read any more mafia books. Do you think they have Dear Dawn? Probably. Eileen does. Warnos. Eileen Warnos. If they have it, I'm getting it. Who is Luke? Who's Dear Don by? She wrote it herself. She did? Yeah. We were talking about this one last week. Deadly too. Masquerade. Oh yeah, we're thinking about reading that too. Stolen Life by JC Duggard because I read it and I loved it. Um Eileen Warnos. Nope, she's not here. But uh. Pass. December. Hard pass. That was our December book. Yeah. Do you see any other books that were ours? And Rule? She has so many books. I know. God, this is like, okay, I'm gonna, okay, if they have this book, I'm gonna buy it for you. Which one? Hold on a second, I'm looking. <laughs> Don't rush me. Don't H rush me. H-I. <laughs> Aphrodite Jones is who we're looking for. J A Aphrodite Jones. They don't have it. Damn it, can't we have nice things? Okay. <laughs> they don't have it. I was looking for Cruel Sacrifice by the Shanda Shear case in Indiana. So anyway, what else do we have in here? Pick out another checkout lane, honey. Save big <laughs> money and make the grocery aisle your catwalk. <laughs> this is kind of like, I'm kind of living for this bookstore. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna look around a little bit and then at the end I will show you guys um, if I get anything or whatever. So I'm just gonna kind of do a big swipe through. Here I'll show you. Look at all these book aisles. Just aisles and aisles and aisles. Oh my God, look at all of this. What is all this? Sci-fi and fantasy? There's so much stuff. Oh my God, look at this. Just aisles and aisles. This is like, I would be here all the time, Mel. I mean, literally all the time. I know, it's crazy. Okay. Oh my God, this is just unbelievable. Fiction. I was tempted though. Okay, so I'm gonna, um, who was, who was uh, I telling you about Ferris Beach? Ferris Beach. I wanna, have you read Ready Player One? No, I, I, I love it. I don't know what my opinion about it is. You haven't read it. Right, because I haven't read it. Yeah, But I don't know that I'm interested in it. It's one of the best books I've ever read. <laughs> Nobody taught this person that you don't talk that loud in a bookstore or a library. Anyway, <laughs> so we're going to, we're gonna dance in the bookstore. We're gonna dance in the bookstore. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go shopping and we'll be back. <laughs> Bye. There's also all of these Funko Pops over the wall. Toys, tons of comics. Mel is, te Mel is texting. We're not gonna buy anything. Look at all of these. Look at all of this. Oh, they have a whole section of graphic novels over there. I'm gonna have to go check it out. And then all these toys, and then all these magazines over here. They have a whole bunch of board games. What are, you, are these like collectibles? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, they have the Sigourney Weaver um, alien. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh. They have the Walking Dead figures. Jane Austen, the Jane Austen action figure. She is $6. <laughs> this is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the next time that I come out here, I'm gonna bring an empty suitcase. <laughs> is what I'm gonna do. And then they have these suitcases, or these <coughs> suitcases. <laughs> they, I can't speak. Let's go around the corner and okay. see what they have. <laughs> oh, look! They have Star Wars stuff. Of course they do. Aww. I had that when I was a little kid. Oh, um, so you I can't believe that some of this stuff is not worth something. I had these when I was a little kid. Yeah, but some of them could be like newer. Yeah. I even had a Millennial Falcon when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. Or whatever you call it. I'm just starting to watch those now. This is so cool. They have so many fun things. Okay, I was trying to end this. And I like hit the wrong button. But anyway, we're going to end this now. We're not going to buy anything. And um, we're getting ready to go do a review. I did get a little color today. We're getting ready to go do the review at... Um, Dutch like Brothers. Dutch Brothers Coffee. But this place is amazing, and um, I would definitely be buying stuff if 
I had the room to take it home, which I didn't even plan on packing it. So anyway, we're gonna get off here now. People are about to walk around the corner, so we have to end this now. So see you later. Bye. Just in case you want to get amazing Allie. <laughs> She's $30. Oh my.